I'm Councillor Mark Vassalian. I'm the Executive Member for Children's Services and Schools at Central Bedfordshire Council. And I'd like to start by briefly reminding everyone why we are where we are with the education system in Bedfordshire. For over 40 years there's been a healthy argument about two-tier or three-tier and which system is better. When I was elected in 2011, I was determined to do something about this issue and not duck the difficult decisions. Um, and so I set about establishing an agreement, a consensus amongst parents, teachers and politicians as to what we might do next. We also recognised that I was legally unable to force schools to agree on which system was better. So I allowed local solutions to emerge from communities, specifically Dunstable and Houghton Regis, which uh, saw many schools make applications to me um, to convert from a three-tier to a two-tier. And ultimately I approved those um, 10 schools in 2012 and 2013. The Council has recently completed the admissions process for this coming September and we can see in Dunstable and Houghton Regis how many parents are applying for which schools. And we can see that too few parents are applying to put their children into these three middle schools. And as the funding follows the pupil, um, I have a real concern, given that too few are going, uh, that there will be financial viability uh, issues for those schools. So I've got a, I feel, a legal, let alone moral, duty to consult the public on what we might do uh, to ensure that those children have a stable school in which they can be educated. And that's the whole idea of this consultation. So I'm imagining and expecting that alternative proposals will come forwards besides closure. And I would encourage everyone to uh, respond to the consultation to see what other options there might be before I potentially consider closure later this year. Education in central Bedfordshire is on the up. It's an extremely positive time at the moment, particularly for Dunstable and Houghton Regis that have seen significant increases uh, in their results, particularly at Key Stage 2, which is middle schools. Last year, which are the, the latest or current results, um, we saw increases of 10% and 14% for English and Maths, respectively. Uh, and that's a very impressive um, and quick improvement to the results and uh, we should be very proud of that and I know the teachers and parents involved are proud of that. These changes have been significant and I appreciate the concerns and indeed the arguments which can be quite um, emotional and passionate at times and, and I have that passion also to improve outcomes for children in schools. So that's why I must consider and consult on um, whether these schools are financially viable uh, and to ensure that they don't fail financially um, because um, I didn't consider making difficult decisions at the appropriate time. As my report to Executive shows, we have a staggering 63% surplus of places in middle schools in Dunstable and Houghton Regis. So in the event of closure, there will clearly be other places in other schools for children to attend if these three middle schools are closed. Uh, also, we can't afford, an, an education system cannot afford to carry a 63% surplus when you've got classrooms, materials and teachers, but no children to teach, so clearly I need to look at that on a financial basis. And I do understand that some parents and teachers are concerned about this proposal, this consultation out at the moment. So uh, I'm keen to make sure that it's inclusive uh, and as many people as possible are uh, responding to the consultation. In addition, I've written to all 700 parents concerned at the three middle schools as well as the teachers and staff uh, and governors at their schools to ensure that everyone understands why we are where we are, and to encourage them to respond to the consultation. My concern and prime objective, and I know teachers feel the same, is for our children to have a high quality education in a financially secure school that can offer a, a rich and broad curriculum. 
We all want to make sure that our children are taught to the highest possible standard. I'm determined to do that in Bedfordshire in the coming years, uh, to make sure that we are one of the best, if not the best, in the country.